All right, we're back with another video today. One week out, one week out today. So it's Saturday, uh, the, what, 19th, I think. 26th is the show, next Saturday. So, I have a few more days here. Uh, tomorrow, Monday, we fly out. Tuesday, uh, I think afternoon, early afternoon, uh, so we can get there not too late, but also we don't have to rush in the morning and get a bad sleep. You know, that's very important. So. Those are things sometimes you need to pay a little bit extra to fly later in the day. Obviously, the early flights at fucking 6 a.m. are real cheap, but I'm not sacrificing my sleep. Uh, you pay that little bit extra to fly a little bit later in the day. Same with the hotels. Don't skimp out on the hotels. Uh, you need to be relaxed. You need to be stress-free. You need to have space. You need to have a decent kitchen. Don't skimp out after an entire fucking prep of uh, you know working towards that moment to then be stressed because you fucking are in a shit place. So, I wanted to film today because we're doing some high fucking food. I'll give you an update of what's happened in the past week. So, a week ago, we did, uh, just after my last video, was two and a half weeks out. I, um, at about the two week out mark, we pushed a little bit harder. And that was sort of going to be our final dig to get the last bit of fat off. Uh, and, I mean, it worked, but at the same time, it didn't. So, like, yes, we pushed hard and it was, it was pretty rough. But my body doesn't respond super well to that, to like pushing really hard and, and, and driving myself into the ground. So I started, my weight wasn't really going down, but I started looking worse and it, nothing really happened. And then we decided to put a little bit extra carb in. Uh, so we went from about 150 grams of rice total per day, not including uh, my pre and post workout, to about 220. So we just bumped it up a little bit for the uh, for each day. I ran three days at that and I dropped like four or five pounds. I, I started just losing weight every single day and we're like, okay, we need to put more food in. So we pushed the food high for, that was for three days and the past two days, the food has been fairly high. Uh, and I've, my weight still went down the first day and then I woke up, we did it again yesterday, woke up this morning and my weight was pretty much the same again. So it's not really moving uh, up and I'm filling out. I'm basically having issues trying to fill out, staying quite flat. So I wanted to film today because today is quite high and we're going out for a cheap meal tonight. Um, and the way we're doing that is, it's very important obviously to make sure everything's consistent in prep and what we're gonna do is make sure we're not having anything sodium heavy. So we're not going out and having burgers and pizzas and shit like that that's gonna fuck our digestion it's gonna increase our serum sodium largely, dehydrate me and fuck me up. It's gonna be sugars uh, and things that are calorie dense, fats as well with it, uh, things that will be very calorie dense but not high in sodium. That way I'm not gonna dehydrate myself, hold a bunch of water and give an inaccurate uh, showing of what the look actually is. Um, but for right now, we have 120 cream of rice here. And what we're going to do is break up a Rice Krispie treat and put it on. These are only available over here. Can't get these in Australia, but they're fucking awesome. So, again, rice based sources for everything. Digest fast. No added sodium or very, very little if there is, um, and it's not going to impede us. Now, post-workout, I'm going to do cereal uh, today instead of my normal wheat mix, purely because uh, too much fiber, and it'll be very heavy in my stomach, which I don't want. I want something, again, that's just going to digest easy, go down, and not you know, cause me to feel bloated for the rest of the day trying to get all the, all the meals in. So... Uh, I would say this is probably the highest it'll be today. Um, and then tomorrow's still the same base diet as today, just without the cheat meal tonight. And then we will see what we want to do come Monday. I'll check back in, talk to Justin on Monday and see what the go is. But for now, uh, I'm going to do legs today as well, so it's going to be a good session. So yeah, that's the meal. Cream of rice, rice, fish, and on top, my little concoction of cinnamon and stevia 
and we're gonna get that down. And then I'm just gonna chill out for a bit before I eat my next meal, right before I do legs. Let's do it. Alright, one of the things that I love about Thailand the most is just how easy it is to get your food, your groceries, whatever. Because, you know, if I need something, which I do now, today, I just jump on my phone, order it, and, you know, it's here within the hour. Groceries, whatever, anything. Um, it's just so simple. So simple. So, still getting my eight litres, eight and a half litres of water in while I'm um, obviously getting all this extra carb in as well. You gotta make sure you still get the water in. I'm having extra water, so more carb means more water, uh, but with the rice, obviously you need more water when you're cooking the rice anyway. I'm cooking more rice, obviously, so I'm putting more water in it. So I'm gonna be consuming more water anyway from that. So whereas usually, let's say I have 100 grams of rice, you know, you might have 150 mils of water with it, but if I'm now having 300 grams of rice, I'm now having 450 mils of water, so I'm having an extra 300 mils, 350 mils of water with that anyway, um, if that makes sense. So my water is increasing anyway with the food. Uh, same with the cream of rice, obviously I'm using a lot more water to make the cream of rice because I'm having a lot more. So the water increases that way anyway, and then we keep the drinking water the same, and then we're having the increase that we need in water uh, to help shift the extra carbs. Remember, glycogen stores three to four grams of water. Now, what I'm gonna do now is make my rice up for my next meal, I'm gonna put that on, then have a quick pose while I wait for it to fucking, while I wait for it to cook. All right, so we're just gonna wait for that to cook. Uh, I'll leave all this here because I'll come back and prep my meal when this is almost done. Um, we just need to cook our fish up then too. So, you might as well have a look while rice is cooking. I want to be completely transparent with you guys and give you guys an update. So, um, when I was saying my weight has just been dropping, dropping and struggling to fill up, um, I went all the way down to 226.5 was my lightest. That is insanely light uh, for me. That's basically the weight I was last year when I competed, uh, which is crazy. Um, and it was, that's why we're like, fuck, we need to get this up. Um, I obviously am much improved though and already do look better, but, uh, we're finding my best look is about 235. So we need about another nine pounds, um, to walk on stage, but that's not too hard. Uh, so I've had one meal now, about a liter and a half of water. I'm still flat, uh, and I'm sitting at 231 right now. Uh, if we can ideally wake up around 231 on show day, I can have one small meal or one moderate size meal uh, and some water and I'll be 235, no problem. Uh, but the goal is getting back up to 231. Uh, it still looks really, really good uh, on the way down in this prep around that 230 to 231. That morning look was still really good, dry, hard, tight. Once I dropped below that, once I'm finding I was going under 230 in the morning, it was not uh, a nice look. 230 was like, this is flat uh, and yeah, it was like, this is quite flat and it doesn't get better uh, as it goes down. So around 231 to 232 is gonna be ideal for us to wake up at. And um, that's what we're gonna try and get back to. So this morning, we've done higher food. I did more fats yesterday as well um, to help the carbs stick a bit better. And I managed to wake up 227. Um, but yesterday I was 226 after days of higher food. So. I was dropping like a pound a day uh, on the higher food. So we put extra fats in, got me to 227, but that's why we're like, we need to go out and eat. So yeah, that's full transparency. I actually, that's probably my, been my biggest mental struggle this prep. This whole prep has been a, a cakewalk. Honestly, I've done no cardio these past few days at all. Like I've done barely any of the whole prep. Um, I really haven't had to diet hard at all. I've dieted hard for like two to three weeks max. Uh, other than that, it's just been chilling and the fat just falls off. Uh, the biggest mental struggle for me is, is how light I am right now um, because I'm meant to be a super heavyweight bodybuilder. Like I'm six foot tall uh, and being 100 kilos is pretty pathetic, um, especially when, you know, as a open bodybuilder, like you need to be, 
in you know close to 120 on stage to be a good pro. Um, so I've sucked down so much that that's probably the biggest mental struggle where it's like, fuck man, you know, you need to put on another 20 kilos to be good. Um, and I'm currently sitting at a hundred, but that's something that I have to remind myself. I will be about 105 on show day. Um, so this is a very depleted look, um, which I was hoping before the whole prep started, I was actually assuming, I can't remember if I said it in any of the videos, but I was probably aiming or hoping to be around sort of that 110. I thought I was gonna be closer to 240 on stage. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're at about 235. Uh, I'm, and I'm usually not one to overestimate. I'm usually like pretty realistic with myself. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, 240, but it turns out, yeah, 235 is gonna be more like it. Um, but yeah, ideally, um, ideally that's what we can, we can get back to, so. But this is a look right now after one, one meal of that cream of rice uh, and a liter and a half of water. So I do tighten and dry up as the day goes on uh, until it gets to a point where probably afternoon after I've had about three to four meals um, where it starts to get softer. So after about meal three, I find it's my best look um, where I've trained, I eat my post-workout, I'm still quite dry and full then. Then after that, it starts to get softer and softer as I get up closer to that sort of 237, 238 uh, pounds. Uh, it's, it looks nice and full, but it's not the best overall look. The best put together look uh, bodybuilding wise, stage ready wise uh, would be that 235, I would say. But it, this is much drier now than this morning, just from putting the extra food in. So some people get more crisp being flatter and as the food is low, I'm someone who gets a lot drier from actually eating and putting the carbs in. But you can tell here, so you can see through here, my chest is soft and flat. Uh, there's not a lot of, there's some lines, but there's not a lot of hardness. It doesn't look super grainy and tight. Uh, this is because that's where I go flat. Same with my arms. Uh, you, can, you can't see a lot of pop uh, that's where I go flat is through here. Um, so that's a, a pretty telltale sign for me. My legs um, are quite dry right now. I mean, in the mornings when I'm, I'm down under that 230, I can see they're softer, vis uh, noticeably softer. So uh, anyway. Oh, so yeah, as you can tell, I am still, or well, maybe you can't tell, a little bit flat, but I am, I, I can see I am drier and harder than I was this morning upon waking. So after I get a little bit of food in me, I do come to life a little bit more, but I just go so flat overnight. Like every night I drop about 10 pounds, about 10 pounds a night is how much I come down, uh, which is a lot overnight. So that's just on average, that's just every night. So um, that's something we need to make sure we accommodate for, obviously, as we lead into the show. But we've got one week to get there, to fill back up. And today is definitely, definitely gonna help with that. So for now, I'm gonna get this next meal ready. So next meal is in, we have fish and rice salad, same as always, but just more rice. Um, so clen and cardio has been completely removed at this point, um, because yeah, we, we need to fill up. So we're not doing any of that anymore. Um, it's completely dropped out and we're just focusing on training and resting. So I'm moving as little as possible, just relaxing and eating at this point. So I'll eat, train, come back, 
probably sleep, um, trying to move less. I still like to do some posing while I'm here to just uh, move some f food around after I eat, but I, not a lot. It's not anything strenuous because the whole idea of filling up is to not deplete glycogen, right? Uh, but all the shows are registered for now, and it's a little bit weird, this one. So usually, obviously, you have to do a regional to qualify for a pro qualifier, which is still the case now, but they're not separate shows. So originally, I knew that there was a regional and a pro qualifier. Uh, I thought that it was going to be on the same day, and it was like a morning and a night show, but it turns out it's just the one show, but different categories are classed as the regional. So I have to do a novice category. <clears throat> so I have to do novice bodybuilding, uh, which is weird, but that feels weird to, <laughs> to do novice. But um, I have to do novice bodybuilding, and then that qualifies me, that allows me to then do open bodybuilding, which is technically the pro qualifier. So a little bit different, um, but yeah, that's how that's run. It actually does make things easier rather than peaking for a morning and night show, uh, even though if we did that, I'd probably just peak for the night, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all set now. That's, that's done. That's booked. Uh, and yeah, we're flying out in a, in a few days. Once we land, I'll probably try and get at least from two days out. I'll, tr I'll try and do a, a daily vlog, uh, two days out, one day out and show day. Um, they won't be very long because I'm not fucking doing much, but, um, yeah, I definitely understand why it's so much easier for these high level competitors to just have a fucking videographer that follows them around and edits it all and posts it for them because right now I'm just doing as minimal as possible and I don't want to edit this shit really. <laughs> so yeah, right now I'm going to knock this meal down, then get ready and go hit my last hard leg session. Uh, and when I say hard, I mean not a pump session, a little bit, a little bit of, a little bit of work, but not a lot really. But because I'm feeling better from eating this food, I have a bit more energy. The sessions are a little bit harder anyway, which ends up leaving me that little bit more flat and need more food again. So that's a bit of a catch 22, but I'm going to get this done and I'll see you next at the gym. So yes, we are back now, uh, doing legs again. I know the last video was legs. Now we got legs again, but, um, yeah, it's just the way it fell. I actually pushed legs back a little bit uh, this week. Um, and now I am feeling fucked uh, today. I know earlier, literally, I was just saying how I feel pretty good. Um, right now, I do not feel good. I don't know what happened. It just hit me and I was like, oh, damn, I'm tired as fuck. So, uh, but I have to get into this and get it done. I'm going to try and get it done in like an hour. Uh, honestly, I mean, you guys know it's like it's it's not a lot of not a lot of work at the moment. Um, yeah, I need to get it done and get back. The hardest thing about these big fucking uh, card days is timing. Trying to fit it all in. Um, I've got three more meals to eat, and it's uh, what three p.m. now. So I'm gonna get back. Ideally, I can be eating by four thirty, uh, and then eat again around sort of six. Um, and then I'll go, and then we'll go out for obviously our cheat, uh, but we're gonna go to a cafe to eat it. Uh, everything is open later here, but uh, yeah, I wanna plan to be there around 8.30, and that'll be the last meal, I'll come home, uh, I'll order some more stuff for, for home to snack on when we get back, but that's all. Um, and then I wanna be able to get to bed, you know? Um, I might end up having a later night, and if we do, it's not the biggest problem because I'm not going to train tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a rest day. I haven't rested this week once because uh, I've just been enjoying training and enjoying the more food and wanting to put the uh, the body through more. So I haven't actually rested at all this week. Um, I really needed to today, but I started filming and I was like, I got to I gotta pull through. So uh, especially because I'm having this big cheat meal, I'm like, I want to fucking, you know, I want to put it somewhere. Let's, let's do a nice good leg session. So I'm just going to get this done as quick as I can not going to talk a lot in between i'm just going to film a few sets i'm doing and um and then we're going to scoot it back home so yeah let's hit it <laughs>
idea if I can change a seat or not I don't think you can but it's all good I'm gonna do two sets here and then probably one set of hack squat one like working set and then probably two working sets of leg, uh, leg press um, maybe one we'll see uh, see how my quads feel last week I did one hack squat and two leg press but I only did leg extension as like a warm up. I didn't actually do working sets on it. Um, so I'm gonna do working sets on here today. So I might end up only doing one leg press as well. Um, I'll see how I feel after the hack squat. I might just do two sets on hack squat and leave it at that. Uh, Cause I wanna do some adductor and calf as well. So actually I think that's gonna be a better plan. Just doing two on hack squat. Um, and then if I still feel like I've got more, I'll do a third. But that, you know, reducing amount of exercises uh, is time saving essentially, but we're still putting the same amount of work to the quad, still a pressing quad movement. Um, so, yeah, let's get this first set on the way. Oof. 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 Oof.
All right, let's get on to these hack squats. Um, also, shirts available. Embroidered, really fucking cool heavyweight oversized material. Uh, I'm not making any money on them. I literally just want people to wear them and like them. So if anyone is keen on supporting, uh, shoot me a message on Instagram, link is in my description, um, and I can organize sending you guys one. Um, really fucking cool. Everyone's loved them so far. Um, like I said, this is not a fucking entrepreneurial journey. Uh, it's literally just me wanting to create a, a community and I uh, appreciate everyone already who's got them. Uh, I, I very much appreciate the support. It's, it's awesome to see you guys out there. So I'm going to keep creating them uh, and maybe some more if people are enjoying them uh, and, and want some cool fucking training shit to wear. This is a 3XL, by the way. Um, so they are, as you can see, they are big. Um, so if you're really big, 3XL. Um, but yeah, mostly XLs and 2XLs are fit everyone. But enough about my bullshit. I do feel a little bit better after getting moving and getting some blood going and getting some training in. So it doesn't feel too bad now, but it's just getting started. You know, that's always a bit rocky and hard to muster up the strength, but we just shut up and do it. And now we feel pretty good. All right, first set, we'll definitely do two. And if I feel good, I'll do three. But we'll see how the quads feel, because obviously we do fatigue quick. <laughs> and we're one week out. So nothing crazy at all. That will do it. Knees are a little tender, but yeah, not going all the way to failure. Keeping it one to two short, probably a little bit more short than that, to be honest. Um, but definitely enough to feel some weakness through them. Not a lot of rest, but enough that I feel like I can go again. It's not super heavy, so I don't need crazy rest. But also, we want to get this shit done. And lower rest will result in a little bit better pump, which is what I want to get at the moment. More so shooting for a pump than progression. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh. My knees are a little tender. So I'll probably stick to those two sets, but I want a little bit more on the quad, so I'm just gonna go do a super setted uh, set of walking lunges right now. Then we'll move on to adductors and calves. Oh. 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 That's a pump. Oh. Oh man, that was solid. Leg check. Yeah, pumped for sure. No lines. That is a special treat for you right now uh, we have a, a guest appearance by uh, one of Australia's best classic competitors that's a pretty big prize <laughs> <laughs> that's it uh, this for the this for the YouTube yeah yeah that's it so he lives here now too kind of you live here or you just yeah yeah fucking stay I've been here for fuck, like six months now so yeah, fuck. Yeah. do you go back to Australia at all I went back for the SA State Show. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then, did you have clients or? Yeah, I had one client and then he didn't be national, so I came back. Oh, man. You're just going to stay here now. You're in Pattaya, yeah. hey? Yeah, mainly. I'll be here till January and I'll move here. Easy. Fuck yeah. Oh, well, thanks for being in the vlog. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll see you next time, man. Yeah, thanks. Up. Ah, mid gym pose. Ooh. All right, so confession, I did not get the adductors or calves. I uh, saw the time and was like, I'm in a fucking rush. So I just smashed it out, but you get the idea. Now we're back and smashing out some Cocoa Pops. This is what we look like. So. 5 p.m. now. I've still got this and two more meals to get in. So this, another meal of fish and rice. Then we're gonna go out after that. Thankfully here everything's open pretty late, so we should be fine, but um, yeah, we'll probably honestly have a later night tonight because I'm having a rest day tomorrow anyway, so routine's not too too much of a problem. I um I don't have to be on as much of a time crunch and usually I would avoid uh, certain meals on my rest days but being at the spot right now where we're just behind and need to keep eating, um, I 
I'm still gonna have all my meals tomorrow as normal. Uh, I probably just won't do, I won't do the cereal. I'll go back to just doing a meal of wheat bix instead, um, which is still very enjoyable, but the meals are big. Uh, I'll have some avocado in my meals tomorrow as well. Probably have an egg for dinner, or two eggs for dinner actually. So yeah, I fucking can't wait. I love the way we're eating. Uh, prep should be easy, man. Shouldn't be easy, sorry, it should be simple. Everyone talks about how hardcore it is and how how dark and deep this shit is. It's not that dramatic, bro. You're just fucking eating a little bit less. Stop whinging. All we're doing is eating a bit less. And yeah, you feel a bit more fatigued, but let's get it done. That's what we're here to do. Um, it's really not that deep. It doesn't have to be that fucking deep. We're not important. We're not doing anything special. Um, you know, we're not changing the world. I'm very grateful if I can inspire some people and encourage them to uh, follow along in the journey, but also, you know, want to make changes to themselves and, and believe in themselves. I really, you know, it makes me really happy to be able to inspire others. That's one of the reasons why I do this is to be able to be a good role model for people. That's one of the big things for me, but in terms of like these guys having a big ego because of what they're doing, like I'm important because I'm doing this. No, the, the best thing that I do is make other people want to do this as well. That's the best outcome I can have. Other than that, just what I'm doing objectively for myself means fuck all for the world. It's not improving the world whatsoever. Uh, it's, it doesn't make me a good person, you know. I'm out here just doing what I love every day and I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that. So I'm gonna stop talking so I can eat this food and then I'm gonna come back at you, come back to you, sorry, with the, the next meal. Time to speed run this next meal, uh, the fish and rice. Right, 
that is pretty much done. A couple more minutes for the fish to cook on that side, and we're there. That's how I prepare this meal. I have this meal twice per day, and I do it the exact same way every time, just with more or less rice. Um, so yeah, I despise the beetroot. That's probably the only thing in there that's questionable, because it does have yeah, some carbs in there. If you're not fucking stupid, you can pretty much buy it very close every single time. Uh, you know, even with a 20% variance, you're gonna plus or minus two grams of carbs or so. So, not really something you have to worry about too much. Well, maybe you are. Maybe you're one of those people who can't have anything extra because your food has to be so low. But it's relative based on the percentage of your total calories and, and carbs for the day, right? Like, if I'm eating over 500 grams of carbs a day, every day, which I, I haven't calculated, but I would be at the moment, then having an extra few grams really is going to be un untraceable. If you're someone who has under 100 grams of carbs, you have to you have to push and prep to do fucking 70 grams of carbs a day, yeah, a couple, a couple grams is going to be a large percentage of that, and it's going to be more noticeable, and you, you can't be that person. I just have the luxury of being able to do that, so I need a lot of food, and anyone who has a decent amount of muscle is the same, needs a lot of food. So anyway, that's the meal. Boom, love it, uh, I could eat this every fucking day, uh, and yeah, I'm going to smash this out, and I'll catch you when we're leaving for the fucking dessert place. That's better. I'll see you next. So we're on our way now to go to the dessert cafe and get some, I'm gonna get, I think a serving of pancakes and then a serving of the tossed toast, just the, the baby version. Uh, and then I've got a piece of cheesecake waiting for me at home from the cheesecake factory. And I should have a piece of carrot cake as well. So keen as, uh, they're, they're not very big pieces, so uh, it's all good. But um, yeah, Charlotte ordered her dinner before from Cheesecake Factory, so they're already at home waiting for us. Uh, it's raining, so I've ordered a, a grab taxi to come pick us up and take us there. It's only like 10 minutes away. So let's uh, go have some food one week out. Uh, that's uh, the way to live. This is how you want, uh, want your prep to be. And you know, we can do this without feeling like I've done something bad because we're, I've been instructed to do so. <laughs> but yeah, if you know me at all, you know that uh, this isn't usually my typical choice for an off-plan meal, uh, not what I would be choosing myself, but we're doing this for a purpose. You know, if I was to have an off-plan meal, I'd go and enjoy something decent, something, uh, you know, larger, more substantial, a uh, big meal of meat and rice of some kind, but uh, because we are eating for a purpose right now, which is just carbs and dense amounts of carbs and calories, uh, we're doing sugary based foods right now. So that's, that's when. We kind of fucked up, kind of not, but there's a bunch of these cafes and I didn't know which one to go to. The one we came to doesn't have pancakes, but they do have the toast. Um, so it's like a tossed toast. I don't know if I explained it or not, but yeah, it's like crust on the outside and like filled in the middle and stuff. So I'll, I, I've gotten one of those, uh, but I did plan on getting a little bit more. So I just got a small size. You can get like big ones. I got the baby version. So it's literally all we've ordered is a baby version of toast each. Um, and I'm gonna order some more stuff to show up at home. Some more pancakes so that when, I'll order some pancakes so that when I get home, I can um, have that as well with the cheesecake and the, the carrot cake all there. Um, if I knew that I couldn't have the fucking pancakes here, we probably wouldn't have even come because I came all this way just for a fucking piece of toast. But, oh well. Um, yeah, we'll end up just going home and, and having more pancakes and stuff there, so. Right, so it has come. Look at that. Uh, so we have the tossed toast, strawberry sauce, and this is actually a Milo sauce, uh, which is weird, but I thought, fucking awesome, why not? Uh, whipped cream and ice cream with it as well, so can't complain. 
Yeah, fucking good. Thank good. I got Nutella. She got Nutella. Mm. Um, but I'm gonna break this open so you can see what it looks like. So it's really hard crust on the outside. It's filled in the middle with chocolate. There we go. I'm a get out of here. Yeah. All bit together. I actually just walked in and as we pulled up back to the apartment we got a um, notification saying that my delivery has arrived uh, which is amazing and this looks like them right here what a legend so I ordered pancakes and carrot cake uh, from another cafe that Obviously, I was hoping to get pancakes from there, but didn't get a chance. So, um, but that toast, it's called Toss Toast, was fucking phenomenal. Um, so, yeah, it's like super crispy on the outside uh, and still soft and buttery in the middle. Um, so, yeah, that's amazing. And now I'm going to go up, finish this off. Wow. All right. Part two. So this is what I wanted from the other place, but didn't have it. So, four chocolate chip pancakes. Some syrup and shit, uh, blueberry, blueberry syrup, cheesecake factory, and a carrot cake. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, I'm fucking diving in. I haven't tried the carrot cake yet. I've had the cheesecake. This is from Cheesecake Factory, but I've been craving carrot cake. And, mm, I mean, that's pretty much all fucking icing, but that is mean. And... That is not gonna last, not gonna last long at all. So this is a very nice way to um, to to be spending one week out, and we don't have any knives in this house, so we're just going hard. But this is our evening, shoveling it in. All the water's pretty much done, so. I'm, um, you know, still peeing because we're not eating burgers and shit that are gonna dehydrate me. So I'll show you how, to, how I look after this. And I look like a fucking whale. But it's nice. And then in the morning, I might be a bit, um, a bit fuller, hopefully. Let's, let's see. But I am not gonna stand here and talk. Uh, I'm gonna finish this and... Yeah, I'm going to dive in, so catch us after. Alright guys, I, uh, I'm going to be so real with you right now. I, I tapped out. <laughs> I, um, I got through like some of the breading part. The pancakes were easy. They were easy work. That was good. Uh, and then I pulled like all of the cream off that carrot cake that was so much cream i don't want that at all <laughs> and that cheesecake was just straight cream cheese it was i had like one bite and i was like oh, i'm gonna throw up not but not from like being too full like i'm pretty fucking full but from just <laughs> that was so sickly um i don't do that well with sugar in general so that yeah, was a lot that was a lot i like savory stuff um that's why i like the pancakes like yes it's sugary but it's like breading which is good i like it and then it's some sweetness but the cakes are like just so sweet i was like this is too much man um i would have done better with like some pasta and stuff but obviously, we had an idea behind what we're doing. Um, I might, I'll probably end up doing a pasta tomorrow uh, instead of rice as my last meal. I'll do a big pasta dish, um, and that will be my final meal, which obviously will have the same sodium as what I would do on my normal rice meal. Um, I'll do, yeah, like some beef pasta type of bolognese ragu type meal. I'll just cook something up nice at home. Uh, master chef it. But yeah, so that's that's me tapped out. Um, I 
yeah, I, I did not eat much of those cakes. The pancakes were great, but I did not eat much of those cakes. That was like way too sickly. Charlotte's in the shower right now. I'm in a shower as well. And then going to see how I look, which, because I want to be fully transparent with what it's like. And you go through these days, you know, looking like shit in the morning, like I did, well, very flat in the morning, like I did, go through the day, look awesome, um, you know, train, look super pumped and cool, and then still push the food into the night. Like right now I look like crap and it's like, man, look like this and you're competing in a week, but I know the process um, and that's just how it is. And then I'll see how I look in the morning as well, comparative to how I looked yesterday morning versus tonight. Uh, the morning will be a lot better uh, than what tonight will be, obviously, because I feel like a fucking whale. But I've also eaten a good two hours later than I usually would because I've been jamming it in. Usually I'm finishing my food by like 9.30 at the latest, or so an hour and a half, and now it's like 11. Um, so that's already going to leave me heavier in the morning, uh, depending on when I get up. I'm probably going to sleep in as much as possible. I've been getting up at like 5.30. Nah, not quite that early. Maybe like 6.30. Um, and then doing my check-ins at around 7.30. Um, so I'll probably end up just getting up as late as I can, sleeping in for as long as I can, uh, and going with that. But yeah, we'll see how we look in the morning. For now, uh, I'm going to tap out because I'm in a food coma. And um, I will... Actually, we'll have a quick pose uh, as soon as I'm out of the shower, which will be the last time I see you before the morning. All right. All right, so lighting's not the best right now, obviously, but this is all I've got to work with. Um, so yeah, all the fullness sort of comes to my upper body here, but other than <laughs> being fucking bloated, uh, I'm still, you know, fairly hard and, and dry, which... You can see it looks a bit nicer than being flat. I just can't pull my waist in like that <laughs> right now. In the morning, though, when everything's digested, I'll be able to find. But yeah, all the fullness sort of goes to my upper body uh, and actually makes my legs look smaller because they pretty much stay the same all the time. Uh, but then my upper body fills out and they look like like all this starts to overpower my lower more, but not in a bad way. It just makes me more dominant through here. Um, but yeah, so full as a fucking house in the stomach, but I've got some more depth uh, to my arms and stuff now. Um, and hopefully this, this will be down in the morning, but right now I'm very uncomfortable. Uh, and lo and behold, I'm the fucking basically the same weight I've been going to bed to every night still after all that um I'm 237 and like I said I drop about 10 pounds overnight but eating later I won't this time so I'm estimating to wake up at maybe 230 231 which would be good um followed by another regular day tomorrow without the big cheat um should allow me to hold it, hopefully. And hopefully we don't duck under and stay under 2.30. Um, because yeah, I mean, it seems like this is something super enjoyable that I would love to do is eat like this all the time. But I mean, I've been eating so much the whole prep. It's not like, well, not the whole prep, but like, you know, especially in the past couple of weeks, I've been doing refeeds every three days. So it's not necessarily something I am craving not necessarily, not necessarily something I'm craving, like wanting all this food all the time, because I've been eating so much every day. Like, I'm not needing more food. I'm not like really wanting more food. I'm really enjoying my meals because I'm hungry, and I'm enjoying my fish and rice and stuff. But stuff like this, it's like I'm not. I look forward to it, but I don't look forward to it because of the food. I look forward to the experience of just sitting down and having a meal uh, with Charlotte, really. Um, but. Yeah, I, I like it, it's not it's not all that because I'm eating so much anyway. It's not like the cravings are, are insane. I'm just doing what I need to do, uh, which is having to eat a lot at the moment. So 
that was what the day looked like today. Um, this is what pretty much most this week has been like this, just without the cheat. Instead of that meal, I would have beef and rice uh, and pumpkin and carrot, uh, and which I'll be having tomorrow instead anyway. Um, but right now I'm just gonna shower, go to bed, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. I'll show you what the morning look is after all this, and we'll look at our weight too. All right, next morning, and I've just woken up. Uh, it is actually quite late. I, I've been going to bed at like 10ish and getting up at like 7:30. We went to bed like after 12 last night. It was like 12:30. Uh, I didn't get up till nine, which I'm fine with because I'm having a rest day. I'm not doing much, relaxing as much as possible, and I'm super dehydrated right now, um, which is expected if I wanted to be fully hydrated, I would have, uh, I should have had probably more water yesterday to accommodate for the large, uh, influx in carbs. But, uh, you know, this is why we're testing things and seeing how the look is. So this is a good representation of what I would, what we would do similar to stage. Uh, well, obviously I wouldn't be eating like that right before stage, but having some carbs, having the same water, um, or slightly, um, sorry, having the same water, making sure I'm waking up nice and dry, which I am right now. I've had a look uh, and it is a much better look than yesterday, drier, harder, deeper cuts. So um, I'm a little heavy in the stomach still as expected because I just ate late, which is something that I'm obviously not gonna do right before stage. I'll finish it early, wake up with an empty stomach. Um, probably still have one meal before I go on, but it'll be enough that I'm not gonna feel bloated. So yeah, I'm a little heavy in the stomach still. Um, Probably also should have had some fiber right before bed, like just some Benny fiber can really help um, move things, but also the lower water uh, and not having any sodium with those meals as well can sometimes cause the sugars just to sit in your gut. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the look and then that'll wrap up this vlog at one week out. There's that. Now, I'm probably the tiniest bit still flat, so I woke up at 229, which is better. But as I was saying, I probably need to be around 230, 231. Um, so yeah, we'll still try and get a little bit more food in. Um, this will look better with a little bit more water too. Right now, I haven't had any yet, but it is a better look than yesterday. Um, drier, harder. Uh, and yeah, we can still keep eating because it still needs to come up a little bit more. So I'm gonna enjoy a rest day of doing fuck all. So thank you very much for coming along again, watching, uh, supporting the journey and like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next vlog, which I'll be in Philippines then. So I'll catch you guys in Philippines until next time.